is one phase of a two-fold stroke of war that captured the important Japanese base at Lai on the north coast of New Guinea. A seaborne invasion is to force a landing that will flank the enemy position. There have been months and months of bitter fighting, with the Japs holding two key fortresses, Salamao and Lai. We've taken Salamao, and now the drive is on against Lai, and the attack opened by a naval bombardment. Troops land, Australians, for the seaborne angle of this highly strategic blow against the Japs in wild New Guinea. They go ashore for a drive inland. General MacArthur, United Nations South Pacific Commander and Air Chief Lieutenant General George Kenney on the left. And we see the second phase of the assault, airborne paratroopers. General MacArthur gives a soldier's wish, Godspeed, good luck to the commander of troops who will float down out of the sky, jumping from planes over the wild New Guinea jungle. Arthur himself flies with the paratroop expedition and keeps an eye on the airborne operation, which employs a smoke screen to conceal the landing of the American and Australian paratroopers. And Army Signal Corps motion pictures show us the actual war scenes of the descent of the soldiers of the sky. United Nations commander in the South Pacific checks personally on this aerial operation, which is a model of paratroop tactics. Soldiers descending, and also supplies, which are unloaded from the plane. Parachutes approach the ground, and the airborne phase combines with the seaborne phase, as the soldiers of the sky advance to join forces with the troops that land by sea. They capture Lai and seize a key flying field, which soon is used by American planes. And these come in to what is now a convenient advance base for Allied air power. The capture of flying fields is a number one factor in strategies of modern war. And here's one the Japs built, now a base for further Allied operations in New Guinea. and the front landing wheels shot away. That's the way the big bomber lands at its New Guinea base. It was hit in air battle. Return home after a fierce fight in a bombing raid against the key Jap base at Wewak, and some of the crew are wounded. Now they're on their way to a hospital for the best of medical care. Assistant Secretary of War Patterson confers with General MacArthur concerning the progress of the Pacific War. And with him is Lieutenant General Knudsen, acquiring first-hand knowledge of the strategies of Douglas MacArthur. 